welcome to the Cranked Outdoors. So it's the Saturday before archery season and we're at a spot that I got a couple weeks ago. When we pulled up in the driveway, there was deer laying in our yard and they just eased off. So we're gonna head the opposite direction from them and go put up a tree stand by my camera and come back in here the first day, hopefully leave with a couple because she wants a bunch of deer killed out of this spot because it's way too overpopulated. Like deer management here needs to happen. So we're gonna try to help with that a little bit. What about that tree right there? It's nice and straight. We got good cover. Are set. Hopefully, kill some deer out of it next Saturday. So it 
just, I drew on her, but she never gave me a shot, so I couldn't kill her. Dear Lord, I just thank you for today. Thank you for giving us the privilege to come out here and just sit here on your creation and enjoy the morning. I pray that you would watch over everybody watching the video and everybody hunting today and just pray that you keep them safe and that nothing bad happens to them. In this name, amen. DJ just missed a doe. He said his arrow from, like he shot at him with his recurve. He said his arrow flew so slow that she ducked and ran before the arrow got to her. Shoot low. Yeah. What happened? They're still standing right there, dude. Get Can I have an arrow? I think I misjudged the yardage. I think she, I think uh, she was at like 35 instead of 30. Dang it. It's obviously no longer than no. It was either that or, man, I, I might have dropped my hand. Like, there's so many little things that could have happened.
haven't got a deer on the ground because on Saturday I missed a doe and what happened was my range finder arranged a twig in front of her and she was at 35 and I put my 30 pin on her and shot just below her. But after that we went back in there for the evening sit and I ended up wounding a doe. Hit her too low. I'm not really sure what happened because I was aiming way higher than that. And she hit the ground once I shot her and then got her footing back and ran away and we never found her after that. We're back in the tree and I'm hoping to redeem myself tonight. He's dead right there. I tanked that thing, baby. He's dead right there. Let's freaking go, man. Yes. Yes, that feels so good. That feels so good. Let's go. Camera's not zooming. Good job, buddy. Yeah, they want to shot her. Right there. Yeah, like, literally right in, like, the only open gap at, like, 10 yards. I had to shoot her, but if she... Otherwise, she was going to leave that gap. Yeah, you didn't even stop her. That was perfect. First doe of the year. First deer of the year. For Cranked Outdoors crew. It's like... It's ten after six. I just gave a... Little speech about how we weren't seeing anything. We probably weren't going to see anything. And then a deer walked in on us. But we definitely got one on the ground, boys. I just not get one out of the stand. First one with the lift. Yeah, first deer down with the lift, baby. 
first time shooting the swag, or his first time with the lift. That deer did not make it very far. All right, we got back to the house, got everybody rounded up, and we're about to go try to track the deer I just shot and hopefully find her. He just winded it. Good job, Bear. Alright, let's go up here and get that. Come here, Bear. Everything's done, boys. What side did you shoot him It came out in front of her shoulder. So yeah. your broadhead's in the woods the somewhere. Yeah, my broadhead's up there somewhere. She must have been quartered away harder than we thought, huh? Yeah. Alright, we're closing out the video with this one. Finally got the first year of the season down, and it was with the brand new Matthews lift. Just got it set up this year because my PSE broke, but feels so nice to get one down with it. And she didn't run very far. So, see y'all in the next video.